Mark Meadows was in court down in Fulton County. He's making the case that he's a federal official. He's the White House chief of staff uh, and that this he should be having this case tried in federal court because not only was a federal official, but the call that was made to Secretary of State Raffensperger occurred over state lines, right? White House is in D.C., the Secretary of State's in Georgia. So first of all, one, will he be successful in that motion? And secondly, why hasn't President Trump asked for the same thing? Well, President Trump will if Meadows is successful. Trump has an even stronger case than Meadows, but Meadows has a very, very strong case. Um, he made his call as chief of staff on the orders of the president. Now, they say it was an illegal call, but that would mean that nobody could come under the statute because people who come under the statute are always charged with crime. So the other side will always argue, well, it was outside of his duties. It was criminal. That's not what the statute was intended to do. It was intended to take allegations, accusations of crimes committed by federal officials while on duty as federal officials and move them to what was regarded as a more objective federal court than a more possibly biased uh, state court. In this case, of course, the bias is there. Uh, the county is overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly Democrat and anti-Trump. So there's a very strong argument to move the case to federal court. And if he prevails, I think Trump will make the same argument. But, Giuliani but just, may make hold the on, argument but he, I as guess well. My, but what, just here's what I don't understand as a layperson. If you were President Trump and you just said it yourself, has a stronger case. He's literally the president. There's no question he's a federal official and he's the one actually making the call. Are you risking something by having Meadows make the first move? Because if he was unsuccessful, wouldn't it therefore be a higher bar potentially? Well, I don't think Trump controls Meadows at this point. Meadows has an excellent, very experienced lawyer who's making those decisions. Um, and I think it cuts both ways. I think even if Meadows were to lose, Trump would have a good chance of winning. It depends on the language that the court used. Now, I know Rudy Giuliani is going to try this as well. He's not a federal official, but he was uh, employed as a lawyer for the president of the United States. So he, too, is going to try to come under this statute. And um, there are very, very few precedents on it. And so the case may get fairly quickly to the Supreme Court because if they lose, they may seek what's called an interlocutory appeal or mandamus, some way of getting the case from the trial court up to the Court of Appeals and then eventually to the Supreme Court. And that may also delay the trial. I mean, this is all about timing. You know the strategy. The prosecutors want to get a down and dirty conviction against Trump and his associates as quickly as possible uh, in as biased a jurisdiction as possible, knowing that they risk appellate reversal. But if they can get the conviction before the election and the appellate reversal occurs after the election, well, they've achieved their goals of election right. interference.